I'm Marietta Tiernesson. This is a general prediction from the 15th of February till the end of February 2024. And I start with Capricorn. Capricorn is from the 23rd of December till about the 21st of January. And this is not a private reading. So if you want a video, Zoom or face-to-face -face reading, please go to my website, mariettatiernison.com. I've cleansed the room. I burned the candles. I burned the incense. I shuffled the cards. And now let's start. For Capricorn, for the time of the middle of February till the end of February. Capricorn, you're starting off with a celebration, which is possible because maybe it was your birthday or, um, or that you're celebrating somebody else's birthday at the moment or you get invited for events, celebrations, joyful parties. What is crossing you at the moment is that there is a lot of mental chatter and even maybe fights where you feel overwhelmed by a lot of things. In your knowing, you are ready to look at your feelings. And in the past, you definitely had an offer of some other kind for some business transaction or project or work. Underlying, you feel depleted, you feel stabbed in the back, you feel exhausted, and it's actually time for a new beginning. How convenient, because this month, now on the um, within the next few days, we have the new moon, and that brings new beginnings, and we are really going into the Aquarian age, which is more technology, more AI, but also more detachment, and in a negative way, more egotism and overthinking. In the near future, Capricorn, you have victory. So you definitely go into a rebirth, a new beginning, still looking at your emotions, making decisions with the mind. Maybe you want to go away before you take this new project because that's your wish. And then by the end of February, you have a total change, maybe unexpected, maybe really planned because we saw that you had an offer here but it will rip out the carpet out underneath your feet or you're destroying a situation that has become unbearable. And from there on, you will very quickly go into a beginning of new order, new foundations, new stability and taking charge of your life. Wonderful Capricorn. This then for the middle to the end of February. I now shuffle the card for Aquarius. Aquarius starts on the 20th or 21st of January till about the 21st, 22nd of March. Aquarius. Aquarius, February mostly. Let's have a look and happy birthday to those Aquarians that are still having their birthday this month, plus those that were early in the month, as this is a reading from the 15th of February till the end of February. Let's have a look at Aquarians. You at the moment have a harmonious home. You've definitely come through tribulations and some challenges, and you need to really look at your obsessions or your addictions or a depression or an illness or a sudden operation or just fixed slandering of yourself or a very negative influence in your life or too much materialism. In your knowing, in your head, intellectually, you know that you're going into a wheel of fortune, which if you were really low down, then it will become better, but also the other way around because we live on a planet of 
polarities. In the past, you had a major promotion or inheritance or sudden influx of money or really an offer of good money. Underlying, you know that you can pay for everything that you have more than sufficient and also give your tenth to the king or to the church, whatever you want to call it, but I just thought of the Old Testament. And there's really enough money. I always believe in paying forward money as you give out, as your intuition asks you to give out, you will always receive back. And maybe just with a smile, but it's worth a while. In the near future, you definitely have the Ten of Cups, which is really harmony, success, happiness, a happy home life with children. And you are finishing off a cycle or emigrating or moving, but it's not chaotic. Then it looks like you did buy a house or you're holding on more for your money till you've decided what you want to do. Because at the moment, it seems that you're a bit bored. You do not see the opportunities that are coming towards you. But then by the end of February, you're really into a total new beginning with activity, with action, with lots of blessings. So this is a card of, like the sun, total new beginnings, new sprouts, new beginnings. The light is coming in. So it's really a card of new beginnings in an active way. So you will take action for new beginnings by the end of February. This then for Aquarius. We are now doing March. March is Pisces. The fish from 21st of February till about the 21st, 22nd of March. I'm shuffling the cards for Pisces for the middle of February till the end of February. What do I need to know? This then for Pisces. Let's have a look. Pisces, you start off with being a bit hurt, standing back, just realize as well that for the next two years, we have Saturn, the planet of a teacher, of restriction, of karma in Pisces. Plus, we still have Neptune, the planet of illusion, but also of psychicness, of intuition, of delusion in Pisces. So it's very possible that if your ascendant, your sun sign is in Pisces, that you feel restricted, but also compelled to maybe eat better, to live differently, to take care of yourself, and that you're actually taking care also of your emotions and that you don't close down your heart because whether we live with an open heart or a closed heart, we will get hurt anyway. Crossing you is getting together with a team, working on something and having a new opportunity to build something financially. In the knowing card is very much your intuition that you also need to really go into your intuition in stillness and know thyself. In the past, there was a getting together, which is like a partnership or even a love relationship. And underlying, you're really confused. You're a bit scattered. Maybe it's also because of the new moon coming up. And it seems that you also do not know your way at the moment, which often is not a bad thing because sometimes it's very valid to say, I do not know, or it's okay to be confused. In the future, then, there's the offer and going forward with a new opportunity that comes in via phone call or a message or an email, and you definitely will go forward. You're taking control. You're the emperor here with control, taking charge of your situation, having order in life, a good foundation, to then really look at the offer, being very creative 
in what you do so that you can also be fertile in your own life, nurturing your own self, like being a grandmother, also being a mother in these concepts. And what will happen at the end of February for Pisces is very much the justice card. So in other words, you will feel that this is just, that this is okay, so it seems like a very good ending to February because shortly thereafter you will have immense happiness and your karma in this aspect, it seems like working out really in your favor. This then for the middle to the end of February 2024. Till next time. The next reading is for Aries. Aries starts around the 20th of March to the 21st, 22nd of April. For the middle of February till the end of February for our Aries. Let's have a look. I'm using the Celtic Cross. For Aries, Aries at the moment you also have a celebration, could just be a get together or a family gathering or a lovely event or playing golf with your company and what's crossing you is that at the moment you need to surrender fully, in other words you're conscious of your surrendering to higher consciousness you're conscious that at the moment the situation is as it is, accept it the way it is, don't fight against it, don't resist it, because what you resist persists. In your knowing, you know that you're working hard and it seems like you have a lot of responsibilities. Please do not stay in that phase, but also make time for self-care. As in the past, there was a lot of strive and conflict and chaotic emotions and feelings and thoughts because underlying you're also quite confused about your situation. You might have been sick, um, confused, lack of energy, um, not knowing which way to go, what path to choose. And sometimes it's okay to be in that state because when we are in that state, we can actually carve a path, a new path in the wilderness. It's time to withdraw a bit, to be the hermit or to find a therapist or spiritual person to help you along or to go into your own still time and find your own answers. In other words, take some time out. You've got the strength to do this. You have a happy family life. Everything is okay at home. Be careful of your obsessions. You might have also been sick or depressed or really no look at your habits and your behavior patterns and your thoughts to change those. Because then as a result, you will work very hard. It's like working hard, having the patience to working hard to in the end have your coins. In other words, earning more, building up on your craft by the end of February because shortly thereafter is definitely something new coming in which comes in with a message or an SMS or an email or a phone call. This then for Aries for February. Now it's for May which starts around the 22nd, 23rd of April till about the 23rd of May for the middle of February till the end of February. Let's have a look for our Taurus. Taurus, you're starting off with a hurtful heart. Maybe something disappointed you, deluded you, or you're really caring for your hurt heart where you need to forgive and let go which is not easy for Taurus, maybe not easy for anybody, because letting go means also when we've lost somebody or we've gone through a divorce or we've been disappointed because somebody did not um, fulfill their promises, we will be disappointed and hurt. In your challenge is going to a new beginning, going to a rebirth, um, start new, it's the judgment card, in other words, a recovery as well from the hurt in your knowing you're waiting for the ships to come because in the past there was a, 
woman or a man, very much of groundedness, practical, um, very much inclined to look after their own money, having their own money. And underlying, you've been carrying all the responsibilities, having had a lot of responsibilities, which of course also doesn't help when your hurt is in your heart. And in the near future, there's a celebration coming up. How lovely. And there's a new beginning. So somebody will call you or an email or somebody will just speak to you. And you will first stay aware that there's a new opportunity and you will think about it. You will surrender to it. It might only take place in a but longer time than in February, because then what you fear is a total destruction, a total throw around. In other words, that you feel you want to make a complete new beginning, a complete breakdown to then have a new breakthrough and go into a new beginning. And that will involve by the end of February, obviously, very much um, putting your foot down, putting down your boundaries, having certain fights, but resolving them by saying, I'm starting new and I'm going forward and I will take the leap of faith because I can. With God's help, I can. With Christ consciousness, I can. This then for Taurus, for the middle till the end of February. Till next time. June. June are the twins, Gemini. They start about the 22nd, 23rd of May till about the 21st, 22nd of June. Let's have a look at Gemini, the twins. I'm just smiling because at the moment I'm thinking of my dad who was a twin at Gemini, typical Gemini, who passed on already this year, eight years ago, and... It's lovely to see him. So I know many Geminis, and they definitely have two sides. Most people have more than one um, personality in any case. Let's have a look for Gemini. At the moment, Gemini, you're looking at a new beginning, like a new project or maybe a new start somewhere else. What's crossing you is all has to do with money. Look at the money because it's like a promotion. It's like a huge offer. It could be inheritance. It could be really a promotion or a complete new job with lots of money. In your knowing, in your intellect, you know that you're happy. You have children most likely or grandchildren and everything is fine in your family life. In the past, there was this joy, overflowing cup of joy and fulfillment Really a lovely card and underlying you're taking a leap of faith, which means that you will really, without knowing what the future holds, you will take a leap of faith. You will move forward. Don't be foolish, but know that you only need very little to go forward. So it's not about materialism and holding on to things, but for the adventure. Then in the new beginning, it might be that your partner, your wife, your husband does not agree with your decision and you're feeling hurt because you're not supported in this decision or there's actually a breakup. And it all has to do with a relationship where you want to go into a rebirth, a new beginning, and maybe it's just a fight to then agree to disagree or that you take your stance and maybe you go and work in another country, you surrender to it, you take the leap of faith, you make the decision and you bring an end to the situation, either emotionally or financially or work-wise, by the end of February with the Ten of Swords, which might also mean that you feel betrayed or that you're really like feeling like ten swords are stuck in your back when I have immense pain in my back and bones, it's normally this card, which is also overwork and the end of an old phase, and then you go into a new phase. This then for Gemini. Till next time. Now we do 
I do the channeling for cancer. It will not resonate with everybody because this is not a personal reading. Personal readings I do. You can go to my website, mariettatennison.com. This is from about the 22nd of June to the 23rd of July is for cancer. The crab. At the moment, you feel that you need to protect yourself, so you've built up walls, which Cancerian people very easily can do because either you heard something or you were hurt in the past, and at the moment, you need to really look after self. Crossing card is that there is a card where it says, nurture yourself, you are abundant, you are creative, enjoy the summer or the life that you have at the moment. Be the mother or the father that you need to be because Cancerians are often very family orientated. In your knowing, you have a lot of responsibilities that you were carrying or that you were really burdened. Put those burdens down. Let go of them. In the past, there was a message that came in with tremendous force, but also tactless a bit. And underlying, you need time to withdraw and really look into your own self because you need to find the answers within. And we do have them because we are not just humans. We are human beings. In other words, consciousness, the inner witness, is behind the ego, behind this physical body. So go inside yourself with meditation or just stillness, no TV, just going for a walk in nature and finding your answers. Then you will look at it very logically. Also, you will, might have a man or a woman in your life that's very logical, very analytical, very truthful, and is there in your life where you rush forward to have some fun, and to go to events or a happy event or some other golf event or basketball or <laughs> bowls, depending on the age, and that you then really value that there is enough money, that your family is protected by the wise one, the spiritual guides, Christ consciousness, your family is in a good place and there's more than enough money to go around and you need to enjoy the next two weeks, the two weeks ending February because you have a lovely deck of cards. Let go, let God live in the now. Live in the now, have focus in the present moment. Do only one thing at a time. We cannot multitask. The next one is for August. The Leo is from the 23rd of July till about the 22nd of September. Leo. Leo, at the moment, you are very logical, practical, more logical, analytical, been hurt in the past, so you make decisions coming from wisdom. What is challenging you is giving more of yourself to your work situation, building up a career or your own business. And your knowledge is very much that you know you have enough, that your home life is okay, that there's enough money. In the past, somebody was in your life or you were the person who took action. Underlying is surrender to the situation as it is. Do not fight anything. Just go with the flow. You're busy enough. In the near future is that you will have a star above you. In other words, there's some other magic taking place or you're very protected or something comes into your life like a star. In other words, something you will be rewarded with that is due karmically to you. It's all injustice. In other words, it's all karmically correct, fair. Take a rest a bit. Again, this knowing of taking a rest, resting in between, or you might be a bit sick, 
Don't worry at night. You cannot solve your problems at two o'clock in the morning. So learn to breathe through the body, feel the body at night, and then just focus on feeling the air going through the lungs, going into your legs, feeling your hands, and soon you will sleep. Don't try and sort out your problems at night. And then you will actually look at your emotions, you will look at your feelings, and you will come to an abundant resolution. This then for Leo, for the middle to the end of February. Till next time. September. September starts at about 23rd of August till about 22nd of September. Virgo. I can think of a few Virgos here. Let's have a look. Virgo, at the moment you're at the end of a phase completely. If there is a death symbolically or physically, it always takes a while to get over it. Don't fight it. Allow it. Accept it. Be aware that an end is an end. Challenging you is that you're very tired. You need to have patience and just do what you need to be doing, money-wise, career-wise. Whatever comes in, do it. Because in your knowledge, in your intellect, you know that this is a completion of a cycle. You might also go for a trip or go overseas or really round off a whole cycle where in the past there was a new beginning, underlying you feel like scarcity, where you cannot see the people that are actually surrounding you and helping you, where this is just a mindset, a concept of maybe what you grew up with that you need to change, and you need to see the church or the cathedral window in the back that is light. So move away from an old thought pattern of scarcity into abundance because the near future is that you take charge, that you bring order into your life, that you take charge of your life, you order your life, you have good foundations, you're practical, you are an emperor or an empress, really firm, strict, routine. You're looking at your emotions. There's a woman or man in your life that is also earning money Enjoy the daily life because it's kind of smug. And then you will come to a choice by the end of February. There's definitely a choice to be made and you will have enough energy to fight away all competition. So this is then for Virgo till the end of February. Till next time. October, the Librans, starting at the 22nd of September till about the 22nd, 23rd of October. Libra, for the middle of February, till the end of February, 2024. Let's have a look for our Librans. At the moment, Libra, you actually have a good offer of money or some money coming your way, or you've played the lotto. But there's some luck coming in, which is the Ace of Pentacles, which is really a new beginning materialistically and financially. You need to move away from your hurt feelings. Heal those if you can, because even in your knowing, you feel very hurt. There was maybe a breakup, which at the moment is sort of balanced by having a new beginning in money. And in the past, you rushed forward fast and underlying, you know that you will have success where there is financial freedom, guidance, protection. You will be very creative in your endeavor. You will work very hard at your skill. You will feel overwhelmed and maybe overworked. Just take a step back and do what you can and not more. And know that you need to follow certain morals or that you really need to go into a situation where you get married or you sign up for, um, a, in, you know, a certain corporation or a certain business or you find a um, spiritual teacher 
And I would also um, advise here not to get into any petty fights, but really look after yourself and realize that the money offer is coming towards you because emotionally you've had quite a hard time. Till next time then. Namaste. November. Scorpions. They start... 21st, 22nd of October till the 23rd of November. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpions for the middle of February till the end of February. At the moment, be prepared to learn, to be taught, to listen to certain spiritual teachers, or to find a therapist, or to really look at your morals. Covering it is, are your emotions? Just check your emotions that you also don't react, but that you have values in place, being values in place, that you don't react out of primal energies like anger and greed and jealousy. In your knowing, you don't know which one to take, what to do. In the past, you were very much centered around yourself. You were searching for wisdom and answers. And underlying, you definitely came out of a situation where there was a fight or a conflict where it seems like it's not a win-win situation. So you can't change that at the moment. It might also be in your mind, but that you move forward, that you stay thinking in terms of victory as you will have victory because there is also this wish, this dream for financial freedom for yourself and keep your dreams, keep your goals, work towards your goals, but with moral values in place and that you know that by the end of February, you are still very much protecting yourself, feeling heard, but moving forward um, with mental clarity to resolve the issues that you have in your life and stay on the narrow path. This then for November, for the Scorpions, last but not least, for the middle of November till the end of November, the Sagittarians. This is a general prediction, not a personal one. If you want to speak to me, for a channel reading via Zoom or video or in person or want to have a look at my workshop in March or my visit to Namibia in April, it will soon be on my website, mariettatjenison.com. Typical, the Sagittarians have their card first, so stay balanced be the temperance, juggle everything up, be mild, be gentle, know that you are protected because what's crossing you is this feeling of I'm trapped, I don't know where I'm going, and we are never trapped. In our thoughts, we are always free and we can always take charge. In the knowing is the moon card, which means confusion, Go into your intuition. Your psychicness is definitely expanded. You might also lose a bit of energy at the moment, so look after yourself emotionally. And um, do not fall for scams, which are plenty this year, even more than ever before, because in the past you went into a new beginning with open arms, with no knowing of anything else but that you are willing to take a leap of faith for whatever it is, because in your knowing, you're destroying an old platform, an old foundation, totally, and maybe you've built on wrong foundations, and you know that you need to break this down to start anew, then in the near future says there's a relationship or a partnership coming in where you make choices and you will build a new business or build on a new business. You will look at it how it suits you, but you know that it's a good new beginning with a lot of action and a lot of surroundings. This is like the sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck and that you will go away a bit. 
So by the end of February, it seems like you're going away for a weekend or just for a day, and then you go into the world by the end, or you complete also a whole new cycle. You might want to move, but you will definitely take a trip and move forward. So trust your feelings. Know that it's not a negative thing to be confused or to feel unsettled. Take one step at a time, stay in the presence and breathe. Till next time, lots of love and light and laughter.